In this video, I will be taking a look at another environment course from WingFox.com. Every month, I look through the best courses I can find through WingFox, go through them, and give my two cents on them. In this case, I will be taking a look at a course on how to create a gothic hallway in the style of Dark Souls using Unreal 5. I got a few requests from people asking about good Unreal 5 courses, so I decided to take a look at this one and find out how good it is. So this course was created by Arthur Abin, he has over 5 years of experience in the games industry and has worked as well as a look dev artist for films. His portfolio looks pretty strong to me, so let's find out how good this Unreal 5 course is. The course is broken down in a few chapters, starting with setting up a scene in Unreal and starting to block out in Maya. One nice thing I like about this course is that the instructor makes sure that you are making assets which adhere to a proper wall scale, and part of this is done by making sure you model things in proportion to a character. The blockout is mainly done in Maya and there is a lot of back and forth between Maya and Unreal as you will need to make sure you get a good sense of scale and detail while you're creating blockouts for an environment. The initial blockout in the course includes blocking out the lighting as well, since it's really important to also get a sense for the atmosphere even in the early stages of creating a scene. After doing all the blockouts, next you are introduced to a chapter where you can start to add more definitions to the original shapes and start to make the scene look more alive. The course runs you through the process of modeling, UVs, sculpting, and texturing. All is done in Maya, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. After the main modeling is done, there is a chapter on creating props and set dressing the scene. This is a very crucial step since it's very important to have a scene which is very well dressed in order to create a believable environment. After the set dressing, there is a chapter on finalizing the scene which includes using assets from Bridge to create things like foliage and also finalizing the lighting. The last chapter focuses on rendering of the scene and high resolution screenshots as well, which is definitely needed if you want to showcase your work in your portfolio. All in all, I think this is a very good course for those looking to get into environment art. It pretty much shows all you need to know in order to build interior scenes, and it does it without skipping many of the details. One thing I would have liked to have seen is the use of decals to perhaps add a bit more of wear to the scene. But other than that, I think the final results speak for themselves, and I can definitely say I can recommend this course. While this course does not hold your hand every step of the way, most of the information is there, so I think even a beginner environment artist can benefit greatly from taking a look at this course. There aren't that many Unreal 5 courses out there still, and I think this is a very good one to follow, especially if you want to get more out of your lighting of environments as well. I will be leaving a link to this particular course in the video description. I also want to thank the folks from WinFox for giving me access to it and letting me take a look. This one is definitely up there in terms of some of the best environment courses currently available, so I would not pass this one up. Once again, there is a link in the video description. Okay everyone, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.